and so find yourself in a familiar situation. Her fiance is publicly breaking off their engagement, and her docile fame is about to disown her and Shane. However, we say is not distraught, as she already had six chances to rebuild her life and chase a different passion each time. But she would always get sweeped up in a war and die. And so now she wishes for our seventh reincarnation to be easygoing and uneventful. But what Risa does not take into account is the presence of Ardal Hain, the crown prince of the Glactum kingdom. He is destined to absurd the throne and become a tyrant who starts a large-scale invasion of neighboring country. To make their encounters worse, Ardal is the one who killed Risa in her previous life. That is why it is all more shocking when he proposed to Risa on the spot. In pursuit of her desired life, Risa must consider accepting our proposal and discovering the reason behind his brutal action to stop the war from ever happening. This anime has about 12 episodes, and it premiered on January 7th to March 24th, 2024, based on a manga series and a light novel. Genre is fantasy and romance. The theme is time travel. Each episode is 20 minutes and is rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. Welcome back to another anime review. Here I'm reviewing the anime... Seventh time loop, the villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. Now, this girl has lived seven lives, and every seven lives, she's explored her options what she wants to do, but always the end result, she ends up dying. And this chance in her seven lives, she's anything but carefree. Um, each time she thinks she has a head start or surprise in this new life, bam, it just hits you. And very different from your shoujo Isekai, I think that was Mark's quite thing. I was going in this completely blind because I've never read the light novel or read the manga, so I was fairly impressed with the first episode and the animations are stunning they are gorgeous i mean they are lovely everyone's so pretty in the anime um before getting sidetracked the voice actors do a good job bringing the characters to life the opening and end sounds of this anime are a bop i love it and also i really like the mc is a familiar vibe to another uh soldier izakai but mainly because of the, the main film tag and put their similar goals at the end. I think this is a good reference of anime sticking to the plot that has been given, even though they're trying to be different in different terms of characterations and personalities. I love the similar the difference between these shoujo isekai. With that being said, with the first he's only having twelve episodes, it doesn't even cover like half of the story, I feel like. I feel like it covers like barely like half of the plot and we're barely just covering the surface. And I really do hope that they give a second season to this anime because I just need to know how the main character and her lovely husband work out because or her soon-to-be husband and she also tries to stop the war that he tries to uh, create from what she's witnessed from her past lives. But overall, it was really good for it to be like the first 12 episodes. You know, we got addressed to all the characters that we were introduced to. Who do we need to be basically paying attention to besides the female protagonist and her fiance and other supporting cast as well? Um, I definitely give this anime a 7.5 out of 10. I really do hope you know they plan to flesh out more of Rise and the character that she surrounds with in this anime. And I definitely hope you check it out for yourself and let me know what you think of this anime down below and comment below what anime you want me to review next. And I'll see you soon for another anime review. Until then, bye.